Walk like a man and smell like a Viking. Wow, a real life. Oh, hey, I, uh, need you to do a little recon for me. Last night, the feds impounded Frank's chopper for, uh, legal reasons. Nothing serious, don't worry. I'm not. Thing is, there are a few items on the chopper that Frank would prefer not to get into the wrong hands. Hopefully, they haven't had a chance to search the blame. What am I looking for? A USB thing. It's under the passenger side seat, I think. Does Frank know about this job? Maybe he does, and maybe he doesn't. The important thing to remember here is that if you don't get back that thing, you're like, dead and stuff. Anything else? That's all. <laughs> You'd be surprised what those little things can store. I mean, hundreds of photos. Just call me when you get back from the airport. So now I gotta clean up the goons' messes too. Great. Crazy story. On our tour of uh, Southeast Asia in '91, I met a guy who was gonna score me some. Bl we apologize for the interruption as we bring you breaking news. A high-tech seaplane belonging to Dr. Paul Severn, advocate for the disenfranchised, was stolen from the Vegas Marina. Larry Stevenson, a dock worker, stated earlier... Yeah, one second it was there, the next second it was gone. If anyone can find and recover the plane, the good doctor is offering a reward of $3,000 and a Shetland pony. So hit the streets and keep your eyes peeled. We'll have more later if we have more later. Next cut is for all the badasses out there. It's Tough Guy by Cell Dweller, here on the night, 87.8. Forensics guy we're waiting on? No time to search the thing.
thought security was messing with me when they told me you were coming in for a landing. Way to go above and beyond. I don't think the Fed's got a chance to search her. That thing's probably where you left it. Man, this is good. Real good. Yeah, well, I'd get this bird out of plain sight if I were you, and maybe a new paint job? Good idea. Yeah? Get down to the casino! Now! Let's go. You drive. Don't worry, Winston. We'll nip this in the bud. And I'm supposed to what? Renege on all my campaign promises? It's an unforeseen delay. In construction, you have to allow for these things. Explain in a way a union strike is easier said than done, Veliano. Not to mention the fact that it just smells like money going down the drain. I don't think I'm familiar with that particular rota. Do I look like I'm in a joking mood? Your loyal workers are down there shouting about standards of safety, and that's rallying up the unpaid contract folk. This keeps up. I can kiss the labor vote goodbye in addition to everything else. Jason, in exchange for their support, Reverend and I promised a few of Vegas's more prominent businessmen a hefty stake in that convention center that you decided to demolish. This little shit right here, he's the one that caused this mess? All right, not so fast. Benny and Jason will go down to the site and uh, knock some sense into the workers. As for the union boss, let's make sure he's off my payroll for good. Boy, I order. Why don't we go refresh your drink? I don't care what Frank says. This strike is your mess. You're cleaning it up alone. Oh, 
not this bastard again! Listen, guys, it wasn't personal. This asshole cost you three months of work. Okay, I don't feel so sorry for you anymore.
the hour. That kid's with fright. Get it, boys. You're gonna pay for this! Frank wanted me to tell you something. You kiss my ass! All go to hell, you hear that? Let's go. You drive. This is out there. This is the head. Don't worry, Winston. We'll nip this in the bud. And I'm supposed to what? Renege on all my campaign promises? It's an unforeseen delay. In construction, you have to allow for these things. Explain in a way a union strike is easier said than done, Veliano. Not to mention the fact that it just smells like money going down the drain. I don't think I'm familiar with that particular road. Do I look like I'm in a joking mood? Your loyal workers are down there shouting about standards of safety, and that's rallying up the unpaid contract folk. This keeps up. I can kiss the labor vote goodbye in addition to everything else. Jason, in exchange for their support, the Reverend and I promised a few of Vegas's more prominent businessmen a hefty stake in that convention center that you decided to demolish. This little shit? 
right here? He's the one that caused this mess? All right, not so fast. Benny and Jason will go down to the site and, uh, knock some sense into the workers. As for the Union boss, let's make sure he's... I don't care what Frank says. This strike is your mess. You're cleaning it up alone. Again? Listen, guys, it wasn't personal. This asshole cost us three months of work. Okay, I don't feel so sorry for you anymore.
man of the hour. That kid's with fright. Get it, boys. You're gonna pay for this! Frank wanted me to tell you something. Frank can kiss my ass! You're all going to hell, you hear that? Get back to work if you know what's good for you. You got the rib. It's done. Good. Hey, you've reached Karen. If you have something interesting to say, leave a message. If not, then why the hell are you calling me? Karen, hey, uh... Just checking in to see how you've been since, you know, you got shot. Heard Frank took over the club. He's, uh... He's got me running errands now. I don't really have a choice. I, uh... uh I don't know. If I see a way out, I'll take it. But, uh... Yeah. Take care of yourself.